Calabasas has become pretty well known as a residential city on the outskirts of Los Angeles for many different reasons. One being that the Kardashians live there and they built their empire in Calabasas, which is what made it worldwide. And they currently own about a dozen homes in and around the surrounding areas of Calabasas. There are many other celebrities that live in Calabasas as well, and that's what it has become known for over the past decade or so. Many reasons are for its privacy, mountainous terrain, equestrian trails, being on the outskirts of Los Angeles, just a quick hop on the freeway away, and you are only about a half hour from the heart of Los Angeles. But what's going on, you guys? My name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent, born and raised out here, helping people every single day buy, sell, and invest in property in Los Angeles. And today we are talking about what you should know if you want to move to Calabasas. Now let's get started. So five things you should know. The first one, starting a little bit off what I talked about earlier, is that Calabasas is not just celebrities. It's more than just a celebrity filled neighborhood. You have hiking trails, you have nice malls such as the commons. There are a lot of mountainous areas, it's very beautiful. You're a quick drive away from Malibu. It's one of the closest points in the valley to the beach, to Malibu. There are many areas surrounding Calabasas where you can get nice, large, private homes without being too close to your neighbors. There are many normal families living in Calabasas too. There are great schools out there. I went to school around Calabasas, pretty close as well. So I would know I know a lot of friends and families that grew up in Calabasas and they're not all celebrities. If you enjoy hiking, if you enjoy horseback riding, if you wanna enjoy a peaceful family life while still being in the valley, while still being in Los Angeles, Calabasas is definitely the place to go. But on to the next one, there is not much of a nightlife in Calabasas. If you wanna be in the bar scene, the party scene, Calabasas is definitely not the place for you. Maybe not even in the San Fernando Valley, unless you go to the Sherman Oaks, Studio City areas, that's where you're gonna get more of a bar scene on Ventura Boulevard. But Calabasas, there's only a few handful of bars that I could think of. You have Sagebrush, it was a very popular one. There's still a lot of things to do. You don't just have to be in the bar scene and nightlife. There's restaurants that are still open pretty late. But there are a lot of older families, older couples that live in Calabasas too. A lot of them wanna settle down and retire in Calabasas, still being in the valley. Maybe they have families in other parts, but they want a bit more privacy, a bit more peace. There are a lot of nice malls and outdoor shopping districts. I already mentioned the commons. There's a movie theater there, some high-end restaurants. But if you're a younger person and want more of a younger crowd, a bar scene, a nightlife, then avoid Calabasas. So another thing that draws people to Calabasas is the quick access to Malibu. So it's one of the closest points to the beach while still being in the valley, so you get a lot more bang for your buck living in Calabasas if you are a beach goer because living in Malibu, the Palisades, that's gonna cost you uh, maybe double of what it would cost to live in Calabasas. It's only about a 15 to 20 minute drive to Malibu, depending on where you, where you live in Calabasas. You just go down Canyon Road or Las Virginis or even take Mulholland Highway or Topanga Canyon Boulevard. There are many different ways to access the beach, access Malibu, anyone living in the valley will have to cut through Calabasas to get there anyway. So if you do love the beach but don't wanna pay the high expense that it costs living near the beach, Calabasas might be for you. But one downside to that, which is also number four, that is that it is pretty hot in the summer. Now the entire San Fernando Valley is pretty hot in itself anyways, but Calabasas is on the southern west side of the valley, which gets a little hotter. Woodland Hills, I would have to say, is one of the hottest points in the San Fernando Valley as well, unless you go all the way up north, even further north up in Santa Clarita. That's still Los Angeles County, but that's not the San Fernando Valley. It can definitely get into the hundreds in August, September in Calabasas, but if you've lived here long enough, it's bearable. It's not the heat that you'll get in Texas or even the humidity and heat that you'll get in Florida. It's still beautiful all year round, but just uh, bear in mind that it will get a little bit hotter in the summer, so make sure you're paying for AC. Just 15 minutes over the hills, over the Santa Monica Mountains into Malibu, into Santa Monica, into the city from the valley or into the west side as they call it. It will get about 10 to 15 degrees cooler once you go over the hill and leave the valley. But that's also why you're paying a premium for living down there because you're near the ocean, near the beach. You get better weather, but also less privacy as it tends to get a bit congested when you're over by the west side into the beach. And number five of things that you should know if you're moving to Calabasas is that Calabasas is made up of several different gated communities. Each gated community has their own character. First you have, let's talk about the big one, Hidden Hills is a gated community, and that's actually an entire city in itself. There's approximately 650 homes in Hidden Hills. They have its own city council. They have its own guard gate. There's several different gates of access to enter into Hidden Hills, and that's where the Kardashians live currently. And not just the Kardashians, many other celebrities and many other people that just want a lot of privacy will live in Hidden Hills because of all the benefits of having its own city and being in a guard-gated community. But other notable communities, you have the Oaks, you have Calabasas Park Estates, Mountain Gate, Vista Point, 
all guard gated communities and people that want more privacy will live in gated communities because of the security to avoid not just paparazzi but the common folk that are just looky loose passing by that want to see the who's who in these specific high-end communities the lower end of calabasas the not guard gated communities you can still buy homes for in the high 1 million range 2 million range for nice houses it is more of a country lifestyle in calabasas more hiking trails equestrian trails as i said it's not like beverly hills it's not very walkable you're gonna have to drive to get to certain areas to get to the outdoor mall of the commons to get to your gated community of course but also in these specific gated communities there are some that are way more expensive than the other you can expect to spend 15 20 plus million in hidden hills in the oaks in the second gate of the oaks if you know you know what i'm talking about but there are communities two to three million you can buy a nice cozy comfortable family home in calabasas as well with nice views nice mountainous views so you don't have to absolutely break the bank and be of the top one percent wealth to be able to afford some of the homes and to live in calabasas comfortably you can find something similar with the same mountain views in Bel Air maybe but it's definitely gonna cost you a lot more than it would if you were in Calabasas in one of the nicer gated communities that was just a few things on what you might need to know when moving to Calabasas like I said my name is Darren Kriz I'm a local real estate agent in the greater Los Angeles area helping people every single day buy sell and invest in property out here if that's you or someone you know my information is down in the description below please hit the like button if you haven't already if you learned something at all from this video and subscribe to see more informational videos on all things Los Angeles, and I'll see you guys in the next one.